Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. Today in this lecture, I will discuss about what is chance and probability. So, uh, you have heard about chance in your common day-to-day -day life, whether like nowadays cricket series is going on and I can say it is quite probable it is quite probable that India will will win the will win the World Cup or you can say Champions Trophy which is going on nowadays okay and there are some more examples like this is example 1 this is example 2 uh, there is a chance you can say so there is a chance that it may rain today okay so chance the definition of chance varies from uh, one example to another example so if you toss a coin let's say if you toss a coin okay and you see the number of observations and if you toss a coin like uh, 10 times I say 10 times so I will write all the observation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So in first observation you get tail, second you get also tail, then head, tail, head, tail, tail, head, head, tail. There can be any uh, chance of getting a head or a tail uh, on tossing. So there is no particular pattern you are observing here that in our tossing your coins 10 times that you will get a pattern okay so this is basically a chance of getting either tail or getting either head okay so you can directly write the number of tails is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and number of heads or you can make a table for that also that will be 4 ok so this is the uh, this is what we call it as chance so let me tell you about what is probability let me erase this first so students now comes to probability what is the probability so I am giving you the similar example when you toss a coin either you will get tail or you will get head so I can directly write the probability is of getting a tail is half how I can say so means the probability is number of favorable events upon total number of events ok so number of favorable events tail can come in one way only and the total number of events can happen is 2 so the probability of getting a tail is 2 similarly I can write the probability of getting a head will also be half so there is always an equal pr probability of getting a tail or head given that the coin is not a biased coin means there is no biasing of a coin occurred ok let me give you one more example of die when you toss a when you roll a die you can get 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 ok so how I can write the probability of getting 1 as you as I told you that probability of any event is like 
number of favorable events probability of getting one is number of favorable event in one is one and the total number of events are six so probability of getting one is also one by six and probability of getting two is also one by six and for all the events probability of three is also one by six four is also one by six probability of five is also one by six and probability of six will also be one by six so the advanced version of the probability you will studies you will study in your subsequent classes means class 8 class 9 okay and for uh, class 7 this is sufficient guys for you to remember what is chance and what is probability okay and if you face any doubt or any question based on chance and probability then please do comment in the comment section students i'll be happy to help you guys there and please do download the scholars learning app from play store or app store and if you have already did then please do share it among your friends students thank you happy learning